Okay, so what what we're saying is that it's not a long process to to cash out, if you will. Not only is it not a long process to uh, to to sell your coins, it's very quick. Also, on the delivery of coins, when you're actually purchasing the coins, we deliver coins very quickly. Most you know quicker than most companies in the market, and that's one of the real strengths of Swiss America, as opposed to you know some of the other companies that may want to provide you a terrific service. They just don't have the ability to to get coins out as quickly as we do, or, you know, for whatever reason, they don't deliver as quickly. And, and, and you're going to get quick delivery on us on when you're buying. And you're also going to get immediate, you know, liquidity when it comes to selling your coins as well. Steve, if, if uh, I checked the marketplace for silver dollars in the Springfield market, and it's very thin right now. If I wanted to buy 100 silver dollars from, from you, would you be able to deliver them? Well, if somebody were to wire transfer in the funds today, we'd be able to ship the coins out tomorrow. Okay. How about 500, which would be a monster box of, oh, uh, well, let's say, extra fine or very good oh, Morgan or Peace dollars? Would I be it wouldn't be, yeah, it wouldn't be a problem at all. You know, I mean, at some point, guys, keep in mind that there's going to be a demand, you know, a supply and demand deficit where it could take a little bit longer to deliver certain things under mm-hmm. extreme circumstances, but... When you're talking about an order of that size, now I will tell you, if somebody called us up and said, look, I want a million coins delivered, something like that would obviously probably take a little bit longer. But, you know, within reason, Swiss America is able to deliver most products within, usually probably people, not only does it go out of here within about three days at the, at the most typically, uh, you know, 10 days I would say is a very, very odd outside chance that something would take. But again, that's about the longest anything has ever taken that I can recall being delivered from Swiss America, unless it was something where somebody was looking for something incredibly rare. Well, S- that's, Steve... That's, a, that's, that's more the exception than the rule. I think that's excellent customer service. And, and as Vinny has stated, he and I have gone into local shops and quizzed these guys about getting delivery on, you know, moderately to, to large purchases, and it's it's really almost impossible. So that is very comforting to hear on the radio with you today, that uh, if somebody wants to purchase those, they'll be available fairly quickly. I... I like that. That's great. And we're going to take a quick break, a three-quarter hour break here. We'll be back in just a moment with Steve Rand from Swiss America. I'm Mark Wright. I'm here with the original survival economist, Vincent Finelli. Class is back in session. Turn up the volume. USAprepares.com with the original survival economist, Vincent Finelli and Mark Wright. And we're back on USA Prepares. I am Mark Wright. I'm here with Vincent Finelli. And Vinny, we got a couple of winners to our big v- USA Prepares VIP dinner out the fairgrounds with Jim Bohannon. we got Gary Sutherland and Connie Hugo. I don't know where they're from, but they got two tickets, and we'll email them very soon with all the details. I am pumped about that event. And, Vinny, you know, we're going to have food out there. We're going to have barbecue from Buckingham's catered out to the event. Does that remind you of something? And that reminds me of something because I'm hungry. (laughs) And when I get hungry during this show, I think of the freeze-dry guy. And we have a link on our website at usaprepares.com that will get you to freezedrygui.com. He's got the premier freeze-dry food in the country. You name it, cooked ground beef, cooked chicken, cooked diced beef, beef stew, vegetables, pork chops, eggs, cottage cheese, and other entrees. Mm, mm, mm. Freezedryguy.com. Absolutely. What about our friends over at Missouri Storm Shelters, well, Vinny? How many people do you need to protect? Your family, your friends, your neighbors? We suggest that you consider Missouri Storm Shelters and Nixa. In ground concrete shelters, above ground concrete shelters, steel safe rooms, Joplin, Missouri. The devastation was beyond belief. Protect your loved ones. Share one with your neighbors. And you can contact them at MissouriStormShelters.com or give them a call, 417-725-0055, MissouriStormShelters.com. Steve Rand, we've got a few more minutes, uh, about seven minutes left. I've got burning questions. Uh, Let me just rattle them off, and then let's see if we can fit them all in. Gold versus silver. How do I know if the coins are real? How do I use the coins in a crisis? And a lot of people want to know about how they can protect themselves in their retirement plan, IRA, 401k. Steve, are you there? I am here. Sorry, guys. I think oh, I no lost problem. for a second. Oh, no Sorry problem. Sorry about that. I heard everything you were saying. Okay. Uh, 
basically when it comes down to gold or silver, I think a combination of both is going to be prudent for you. It, again, once again, I want to stress, I can't stress this enough. It depends on the individual and what their needs are, whether they're looking for stuff that's going to be more for investment purposes, uh, their tolerance for risk if it comes down to investment purposes, you know, their, their usefulness when it comes to bartering. I think we have to look at each individual, but, you know, as my portfolio is set up, I have about 75% of my metals holdings in gold and about 25% of that in silver. And that works for me, but again, I might be completely different from the caller that calls in. So we want to look at their individual needs and see what's appropriate for them. Uh, as far as how you know the coins are real, you know, when you're dealing with bullion products, I would typically stay with products that are highly recognizable, that are backed up by a government like an American Eagle or a Canadian Maple Leaf. If you're going to be buying bars, I'd want to make sure you're buying from a recognized manufacturer so that it can be easily checked out. Um, that, that's and when it comes down to numismatic coins, once again, only buy coins that have been pre-certified by the Professional Coin Grading Service or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation. If you are buying numismatic uh, gold or silver coins that have been certified, I think that's crucial. It's really important to make sure that you're dealing with uh, you're not dealing with some fly-by-night company that you know has put a grade on something and isn't going to be industry standard to stand behind it. That could that could hurt you if you do that. So, Steve, you're saying that for your portfolio, you're 75 percent gold, 25 percent silver. Out of my precious metals, yeah. per- yes, that's yeah. the percentage I personally have. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I- I've told I've told uh, some of our uh, students that uh, silver is really fun, but you have to have a stomach for silver because it- you can buy it and you can see a dramatic move. Some days you're smiling, you go, "Wow, you know, I made five <laughs> percent," you know, in a few hours. Other days you go, "Uh oh," but you know, it always comes back, and it and it always, you know, the trend is higher, higher, higher. No question about it. Um, Last year, Mark and I were on the radio, and, and we had a, a caller, and, and he asked, uh, what, what should he do? And I said, well, you should buy silver right now, and it was a Sunday, and silver was at $20.80 an ounce. And anybody that paid attention to that, I'm sure is smiling right now. And, and the same thing with gold. Gold has gone up dramatically also. So we, you know, we're members of the, of the same, uh, same church. We all, we all believe in, in what you're saying. I mean, it's no question about it. But how do these coins appreciate? What makes them? appreciate in, in value? Well, a number of factors. If you're looking at, at, uh, at the bullion, obviously, it's going up based on what the spot price of bull, gold or, and uh, silver are doing. Mm-hmm. And, and the majority of that is based on a number of factors that are driving those markets, like not only just the, uh, the lack of supplies that are out there, and that's evident by a number of different reports that have come out. Even CNBC had a great report that they said that there's a, that there's a major shortage of gold mining in the world right now as far as the mines being able to produce as much gold as as they'd like. In fact, the report says that they predict that, that gold will more than triple to $5,000 an ounce because of the lack of supply, not because just of a surge in demand. That the limited new supply comes at a time when central banks have turned from being net sellers to significant buyers of gold, meaning the world is buying gold. And that's one reason why I'm 75% in gold and 25% silver, personally, because the world looks at gold as a currency and something to back up their own money. Silver is largely industrial, and you're right. It does have more volatile swings typically because of that, and you can make a significant amount of money. But you also are going to see some days when silver prices can, can be a little bit more volatile, and not everybody has a stomach for that. Well, Steve, you, I saw, oh, many months ago, the University of Texas wanted to take a, a delivery of, a, I think, a billion dollars worth of gold. And then you hear all these countries, China and various other countries around the, the world, that want to start... Um, purchasing gold so you're exactly right the demand most certainly is going to affect the price so if you're interested i think you ought to think about giving swiss america a call at 1-800-630-1498 you can talk to steve phil or dave okay one other thing that i wanted to mention is a lot of people don't realize is that the retirement plan in many cases can be utilized to purchase precious metals within that where you actually are buying ounces of physical gold and silver and that's something that most people can do. Certainly you can do it with any IRA. A lot of times they can do it with their retirement plans, whether it's a 401K or a 457 plan or a 403B. So you should give us a call and check on that because it might be something that you weren't even aware that you could protect, and we can get that going in a very positive direction for you. So, so, so Steve, you're saying that anyone that has a 401K or an IRA can call you and move whatever their investment vehicle is now into precious metals, physical, physical, where they control it. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to speak on a broad stroke. Any IRA you can certainly do that with. 401ks, 403bs, any type of employer-related plan is case by case. If they're no longer employed there, absolutely they can. 
if they are still working there, uh, then there's going to be some factors because the employers control what they're allowed to do. But what we'll help you to do, whether it's Richard Cromwell or Phil Gordon or myself, we will call with you and find out the rules of the plan and what's a, you know, what would work for you. We know all the questions to ask. We've got you know, years of experience, and we can help you fight through that battle with them and try to find out exactly what your options are. And if it is a possibility, we're certainly going to find it for you. Let me ask you this. Do you, do you know of many people who have um, regretted the decision to move to physical metals for their retirement? Uh, you know, I, I think I remember one, but I can't remember his name. <laughs> I can I can't think yeah. of one. I'm I'm really serious about that. Okay. And and what about uh, using coins in a crisis? Because people have said to me, what, "What would I do with those coins?" And I'm thinking, "You got to be kidding me." Yeah. Well, you know, again, you guys, if you drive around your town right now, and I did, we drove around Springfield, you know, for several days at the conference, and I can't tell you how many signs we saw that say we buy gold, and that's just not something you saw five or ten years ago. And it comes down to the fact that. In a crisis, people realize what works as money. And this dollar, this, this Federal Reserve note, is something that could easily be gone at some point in the future, and we may go for a time without having a real currency. And I pray that doesn't happen, but it, but it looks like a scenario that we could possibly see. I think it's a real scenario, Steve. Yeah. You have to be prepared for this. And, and this, having a little bit of gold and silver on hand for that purpose is never going to hurt you. It's going to continue to go up as the value of, of, the, of the dollar it continues to erode. It's a sound hedge against inflation, and if you do need that stuff and you're afraid of where you're going to use it, there's always going to be a market for that. You can drive around right now in your own town and see that, and you can tell just by that that there's people out there willing to buy it, and they realize that it's got value and the dollar's depreciating or they wouldn't be buying it. Steve, we have a friend. uh, His name is Mike Ma from Central America, and he has invited Mark and me down to Central America, and he wants to train us on how to negotiate. And the rule is this. He spends about uh, a month with us, and then he has us put a few gold coins hidden away in, in our clothing, and then he wants us to cross the border. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm serious. This is like survival on steroids, I, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm very serious. And, and, and what you're saying is, how liquid is it? It's life and death liquid down there in Central America. And not just there. It's useful in many parts of the world. If you go to Africa, you go to the Middle East, you go to... Asia, you go to in the Eastern European countries that have had so much turmoil throughout the years and the maps changed a dozen times. These, these guys know that governments come and go, currencies come and go, um, companies go bankrupt. Gold always maintains its value. Silver always maintains its value no matter what the situation. And to not have it is incredibly, uh, incredibly naive. And to, and to think that this currency, which has only been around, you know, coming up on 150 years of the U.S. dollar, I believe, the anniversary, and, and it's been around for such a short period of time, and this country is so new in comparison, we have no idea what instability is compared to the rest of the world. Steve, we're at the end of the class here. I, I'd just like to invite uh, Swiss America to come back. It was a great, great class. We've, uh, we've, we've told our students how to get started, what to think about. And will you hold their hand and give them the education that uh, you provide on the phone that they may need? Absolutely. We're going to walk them through this thing, and we're going to help them get a full understanding of what their options are and what's going to be most suited. And for some people, we may find that, you know, that we may not be able to, to give them, you know, they may not need what we have, and that's okay. But the majority of people out there right now are, are really need to start looking and being prepared. And if you call us, uh, if you call us now, and I'll let you give out the number. Yeah, we uh, got the number right here, Steve, 1-800-630-1498. Thank you. And if you give us a call now, we're going to offer you not only a free copy of the Inflation Deception, we're also going to give you a full complimentary uh, package that's going to give you a really good basic understanding of the gold market. And then, of course, Richard, Phil Gordon, and myself, we're going to help you to be able to get fill in the blanks as far as what's appropriate for each individual that gives us a call. Thanks, Steve. We appreciate it. We look forward to talking to you again soon and also seeing you at the Fall Get Prepared Expo, September 9th and 10th. Thanks very much, guys. We can't wait to come back. Well, okay. Have you. a good day, Steve. Thank, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, I tell you, that was great information. And I... I love Swiss America. They are <laughs> they are a- absolutely great folks. I know you do, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the three the three amigos. Uh, I am too, Vinny. And, yeah. Hey, tomorrow at three o'clock, yours truly be on the on the line. Don't forget the meetup five thirty at Ziggy's. Yeah, you're on the hot seat tomorrow. <laughs>
Vincent, Mark. Thank you. Although classroom activities are completed for today, we are not finished. <laughs> Study what you have learned and share it with your friends and family. Your homework is to visit usaprepares.com. Remember, remember, class meets daily at 3 p.m. sharp on KWTO, 560 a.m. No notes from your mama, no excuses. What happens next is up to you.